What is up, everybody? My name is Bobby. My name is Bobby. My, 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 my. my name is Bobby. I can't talk today right now. It's okay. I do music. And today we are checking out the Muse. Hang on. The Mark III driver. We're checking that out today. Uh, <laughs> at some point, uh, shortly after the Muse driver uh, was put out by Keeley, I guess there was some legal stickiness. I don't know the whole story. It's, I mean, I, I know what I know. So uh, it got rebranded into the Mark III driver. So, but if, you, if you're looking for this, it's the same thing. So, we're checking out, I'm going to keep saying the Muse driver because that's what I have in front of me, but if you're looking for it on Sweetwater or Toman or wherever, it's the Mark III driver now. Same pedal, just a different name. So, this was a collaboration between uh, Andy Timmons and Robert Keeley. Uh, it is a continuation of his Super Fat Mod pedal, which I believe was a, uh, a modified uh, Boss Blues driver pedal. So now we've got it from Keeley. And uh, we've got some some fun here. So we've got, as with most overdrives, a tone level and volume. Uh, sorry, tone level and drive controls. And then on the tone and drive controls, we've got these toggle switches uh, for AT for Andy Timmons and RK for Robert Keeley. And those change how those controls work. The level is still level no matter what. There's not a different mode for the level. But before we dive into this really quick about the signal chain... Ibanez S320 with the DiMarzio deactivator pickups, very high output, hot humbuckers. I have coil splitting in here so we can do some single coil stuff. That goes to the Muse driver, which is going to currently my Friedman Synergy BEBB module. I've got a video on that over here. I'm on the BB side, which is a very just clean, clean. <laughs> Uh, and then that goes through the Torpedo Live that I've got down here for the cab simulation. Mesa 4x12 with a 57 and a 121 on it. Same one I use for all of my demo videos. So there's some consistency there and consistency with this goober. So let's talk about the pedal. What we're going to do, we're going to start with everything at noon in the AT mode. Actually, we're going to start with the drive down and we'll wind that in. But uh, tone at noon, level at noon, both switches in the Andy Timmons mode. Uh, and I'll wind the drive up. Now, the drive in the Andy Timmons mode is, I just looked it up, LED clipping, which I actually tend to like for uh, this sort of overdrive thing. I tend to find it a little bit more open, a little bit more dynamic, more headroom. It doesn't clip as fast, distort as fast as other diodes. Uh, and speaking of other diodes, in the down position, the RK mode, we go to germanium diodes, which is going to be a little bit more compressed, a little bit less broad in the spectrum, a little bit just more mids, less bass, less treble. Uh, and you'll hear that as we go. But we're going to start in the AT mode and just start with the drive down and wind it up so you can hear what it sounds like. No pedal. Pedal.
So that's the gain range in the AT mode. I have way too much fun with this pedal. Let me kick it back down to about yonder and we will switch between the AT and the RK mode. And again, we're going from LED uh, clipping in the AT mode down to germanium clipping in the RK mode. You're gonna hear a tonal difference, particularly in the treble and the bass. So listen for that. <laughs> So we lose a little bit of like tippy top, a little bit of the bottom, and it also, we lose a little bit of level overall, uh, and it gets a little bit more compressed and less dynamic. And it's still dynamic enough to do stuff. <laughs> And in the RK mode with the drive all the way up, it almost gets fuzzy. If I kick it back to AT mode, it's going to be more full range. and a little bit more amp-like to, to my ears anyway, a little bit more dynamic and that sort of thing. So for this pedal, I tend to like the drive down below noon and in the AT mode, and that gives me that sort of If I bring it back down to RK mode. Lost a little level, let's make that up. It, it almost feels thinner to me versus in the AT mode. It's just a nice sweetener, always on sort of thing. Take the pedal out. Very pristine, we add that. My favorite clean tones for that sort of thing always tend to have a little bit of drive in them. So I love that. So let's get the drive back up so we've got something to play with. And let's talk about the tone control. So. In the up position, the AT mode, it's going to be uh, have a little bit of a bass roll-off, which I guess Andy prefers, uh, and I've watched videos of him talking about that, not just in regards to this pedal, but he likes to lean out the low end a little bit for this sort of thing. In the down position, we've got the Robert Keeley mode, that's going to be a little bit more fat, have a little bit more low end to it, uh, and yeah, so we're going to start in the AT mode, and I'm going to go through the tone, and then we'll switch, but let's go through the range of the tone control first. <laughs> Very articulate, even below noon. If we get past noon. And get a little scratchy. Or a little bitey if you've got a big humbucker like that. This is good, if, especially if you have like a really dull amplifier or a dull speaker and you want to push some brightness into it. Uh, I don't have that problem right now. So let's see what happens with the tone all the way up. Kind of bright and scratchy. Let's switch the drive to RK. It almost gets kind of nasally, very focused in that upper, mid, mid sort of thing. So tone back down and... 
Let's switch to the RK mode, and you should hear a little bump in the low end. Back to RK. Very fat. Now if we open it back up. Back to AT. It's a little bit more balanced. I tend to actually prefer it in the AT mode, especially for like a lead sort of thing. And especially if I'm boosting into something already overdriven, I've got the Friedman DS, the Dirty Shirley module, video for that over here. Uh, and I've got that set as sort of a light crunch. Just the amp. And if we boost into it, without, that lets it stay articulate if I bring it down to the RK mode. You can hear it getting a little fuzzy in the bottom end. And maybe that's what you like, that really thick sort of thing. I prefer something a little bit more articulate. So I would probably leave it in Andy Timmons mode on the tone, have the drive down the level up, something like that. Now, if we go back to the BB for our clean, and we do RK mode on both switches, we go, especially at a higher drive, we go from this sort of smooth, uh, articulate, at the same time, uh, broad spectrum overdrive pushing into distortion thing. Clipping here. There we go, that's better. Almost amp in a box if we kick both of these down to RK. We're getting into like light fuzz territory. So you've got a ton of options with this pedal, a ton of uh, range and versatility. The two things I tend to use it for the most, I tend to leave both switches in Andy Timmons mode, up mode, and I'll use this either as sort of an always on, a little bit of dirt in my clean tone kind of thing. <laughs> And I do tend to prefer the tone down. This is a very bright pedal. Uh, and I like. I think it's still plenty articulate with the tone at like nine or 10 o'clock there. Uh, or I'll kick the drive up to about like two and go to the bridge humbucker. It's warm, but still articulate, and that is one of my favorite types of sounds, is that sort of mid-forward, almost nasally, but not quite, and it just sort of like pokes out through a mix. It's 
So it gets plenty thick for that sort of thing. And then when you're done, you just roll the drive back to like nine o'clock. It's super versatile as an always on pedal for that sort of thing. So I love this pedal. Uh, Keely knocked it out of the park with this one. So uh, definitely check it out if you're interested. Hopefully this helped you make a decision or, you know, help you with some tones. Maybe you've already got one and you're trying to dial it in. That's the sort of things I tend to go for. So yeah, I've been Bobby. You guys have been wonderful. I appreciate you putting up with me uh, and sticking around for this sort of thing. Like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I've got more videos coming every uh, Tuesday and Friday. Those are the days of the week. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys and gals and everything in between and outside in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>